Uh, got my orders. Look. Hey, Nana. How you doing? Mm. I got to talk to the peoples. The peoples are over there, okay? So you just chill, all right? Go chill. I'll get chill here. Now look, you know, ADOS, we're supposed to be dealing with well, ADOS, but, you know, we're, we're to the, like I said, it's the political, the political head, right? Uh, but, you know, our, and we get our marching orders from Yvette Cornell and, and Tony Amor. That's where we get our marching orders from. And, uh, but lately, you know, we haven't done a really politics. You know, I mean, everything is political, you know, but you know, everybody's off on this Kaepernick thing and a bunch of other things, talking about whatever, whatever. But I want to just go back because I think the Democratic debate is happening soon or something like that. I just want to deal with politics for just a second. Politics, because that's what, that's, that's, that's what it is. I mean, like I said, my, 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 my body is a bunch of other things. You know, it's, it's like a whole dip and, and Pan-African and blah, 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 blah. And some other time. But I just want to deal with American politics. And I really didn't want to deal with it yet because it's too soon. I say it's too soon. I mean, people keep on jockeying for a position. I don't know what they're jockeying for. But, you know, the Iowa caucus has to happen. You know, New Hampshire caucus has to happen. Then you at least got to get to South Carolina. You know, that, that, that whatever Tuesday, whatever whatever it is. And so we're talking about uh, March, February. So that's when you know things start shaping up. So now people are not paying attention. Like this whole, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, impeachment hearings. Uh, nobody pay attention to that. We don't care. You know, if they do care, they don't care. You know? So all this is just to make you good. Uh, in the news cycle, whatever happens. I guess that's why you can get deal with Kaepernick and all the rest of that stuff and, and Stephen A. And, and his nonsense and all the rest of that. But I went to some specifics. Now, because you know, this is a time when you know, candidates are going around to, to the little thing. And, you know, people don't understand. Donald Trump has not stopped campaigning. I'm serious. Donald Trump has not stopped campaigning. He goes to rallies all the time. They're giving out T-shirts, all kinds of things, that, and places that, that you wouldn't know about. They're not reporting on that kind of thing. So... Yeah, when I say when he says goes to his campaign, that means he's raising money, a little bit at a time. But he's raising money, and then of course the, the, the Republican Party is all behind him. I know it's the I'm going to get to Democrats right now, rather Republicans right now. But you do have to understand that if the way things are going, if they if they go by war chests and all the rest of that stuff, hey, Trump is the shoe in, you know. Right? But I want I want to dash anybody's hopes. I know everybody wants. I got to get rid of him. That's a, wait. Let me just go off for a second. You know, the funniest thing to me, not the funniest thing. But it's like my hotel brothers, you know, my Pan Am brothers said, no, but we got to get rid of Trump. Like, what is the matter with you guys? Why are you fixating on Trump? You know, the deep state is after a bunch of people after him. They, if they can't do what they, what things do you, you're a little, you know, we got to get rid of Trump. You're the left. These things are going to do anything. You're not going to do anything. Just psh, go do something else. Go build your whatever. Talk, talk to some African leaders. I mean, Russia's talking to African leaders right now. They're going to have their first base, I think, in, in CAR, the Central African Republic, you know. They're going to have a military base there. So Russia is even coming to, to Africa. Everybody's coming to Africa. Meanwhile, the Pan-Africanists are busy. I don't know what they're busy doing, you know. So y'all got some stuff to do. Like I said, I think the African Union need to get together. Or oh, the African Union just to grant uh, 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 this is political. The African Union needs to grant a visa that is fee free. Anybody in the diaspora that includes ADOS, you know, if you're, you know, Caribbean American, you know, uh, what the uh, United Kingdom Americans, uh, Brazilian, whatever, whatever the heck you are, you know what I mean? You just you get a, you can go any place on the continent. Right, without paying anything. In fact, uh, I think uh, Malema, a bunch of people, they're saying collapse the borders. There's no more borders in Africa. And that, that way, I always, it's always interesting to me. They say, well, people, say, well, Africa, people are going to say Africa is not a, is not a state, it's, it's a continent. Well, we can make Africa a state. <laughs> Why should it be a state? We can't make that a state. It's, right, make, yeah, it's a whole, co- it's, it's a whole state. Now with all these things, when they're making these little deals with China and and France and and the United Kingdom and, and America and Russia, whatever have you, whoever else is there, India, wherever else is there, it ain't going to matter because you can do business all over the continent, including the people in the diaspora. So that would be much more. Bit- Let me not get the Pan Africans there, Martin. Who would? Here's the Pan African and stuff they're marching orders anyway, because all ideology. I don't know. Anyway, back to what I was where I got meandered from. Okay. <laughs> Let me just hone in on one thing to show you a, a political reality. Now, instead of people saying this person's bad, this person's bad, we should look at each person's um what they're proposing as a platform. We'll give the best example I can give is somebody like Andrew Yang. 
right? He has a universal basic income. And uh, our first complaint is, well, that's for everybody. That's gonna, th- th- that's not just for us. Well, that's what I'm saying. Then you go to him and say, hey, Andrew, I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again because so I can end it here. I don't want to be, be long-winded. Andrew, love your universal basic income. And the whole thing about, you know, uh, uh, voting dollars, you know, so so, so we get the, 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 the whatever, the, the lobbyists away from, from the politicians because everybody can, 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 can give them some, some money and whatever have you. Brilliant idea. You got some really good ideas. But you see, we still got the ADOS problem. We still got the, we still got the, uh, uh, the thing about, you know, we've been, this group of people that we've identified, you know, that a whole lot of people speak out speak up on behalf of or think that they're speaking for. Well, we're here to say, no matter what they say, that here's the thing, that when here's, all the, here's all the candidates. Whatever new proposal you come up to, ADOS just means that you put ADOS in front of the queue, okay? In front of the queue. And in certain circumstances, and like you would be a really good example of this, so you use the ADOS as an experiment for the queue. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Because you've been doing this already, right? You, they tell me that you, or you've been saying that they've been giving a thousand dollars a month to people all over the all over the country. And you know, the famous one, somebody in, in Nevada, something like that, not playing their guitar and, and, and living a life, whatever it is. A whole now, now we can expand that experiment, right? Here's how we expand the experiment: ADOS, like everybody else, gets a thousand dollars a month. Okay, no worries, right? But here's what we do for it. just ADOS. We also, on top of the $1,000 a month, we give them debt relief, debt jubilee. In other words, all the debts, past debts, wiped out. ADOS, you, ADOS, you have no more debt. Now that $1,000 then will go a lot further for the ADOS. We want everybody else, you can still have the ADOS, you know, blah, 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 blah. So see, and that way, it's a, it's a form. It's a form, not the whole thing, but it's just a little, a little experiment. I'm sorry, fuck that. This is a little testing, a little experiment of, you know, what we call the, the debt due, the scheduling of the debt due. This is part of scheduling of the debt due by giving the debt jubilee. And that is, you know, what it is. You see what I'm saying? All right. Think about it. So I'm just saying, each candidate, you look at their program and then find out how would uh, how we can adjust it to experiment with ADOS as a group of people saying, "Hey, hey you experimented us with with the, with the syphilis and the, uh, all kinds of things, and and experimented with, with putting us in jail first, and experimented where we're making laws against you know uh, uh, drugs and putting us in whatever." Well, now we're going to experiment in a, for lack of a better, in a positive way. Okay, in a positive way. So there we go. Reparations. Experiment in a positive way. So each candidate, find out whatever they're going to do. And then we say, put us either in the front of the queue of what you're doing or we figure it out. Okay, that's what we're here to do. ADOS, let's think. So we're back to politics. Let's think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, remember, we got everybody doing some stuff, right? And I'm not even hitting on the, on the, on the Catholic Church and all those, you know, those, those other people, whatever, 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 whatever. We'll get to that some other time. Okay, so that's it for me here. This, this, you know, for hey, my, you see my son yeah, here. There we go. A, hey, there's a reality of the ADOS that would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery. B T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. That you know what I only suspect.